Yo, what's up guys? This is Fade and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Y Gray RG15. Okay, so to start it off, this gun has two different types of muzzles. It has the jailbreak, it has the jailbreak flash guard which decreases muzzle flash and improves accuracy by 25%. And then it has the rifleman suppressor which decreases muzzle flash, decreases damage drop and improves penetration. The choice is really just preference based, so whatever you prefer you can use. The recoil is pretty easy to control, it just goes up and slightly to the right and to counter that you're just going to want to pull down and slightly to the left. Uh, this weapon is in the vendors which means you can eventually unlock it and use it without having to buy it for credits. You can unlock it by getting a set amount of vendor points which can be, which can be earned by playing normal games. The RG-15 has 84 damage which is really good for an assault rifle, it has more damage than the ARX. R16, Dunefield, FY103, and other top rifles. The range on is 15, which is slightly less than the R16 and the ARX, but it's still good for a rifle. Now the RPM is where it lacks compared to other top rifles. The RPM on the Y Gray is 600, which is 80 less RPM than the ARX, and 55 less than the R16. But what I think makes up for the lack of RPM is that this rifle has 40 bullets in a clip, which is 10 more than the R16 in the ARX, and I think that's a great feature on this gun. The aim accuracy is 31, which is good and is the same compared to the R16 and ARX. And to sum it all up, I think this gun is great because number one, you don't need to put any money in the game to get it unlike the R16 and the ARX. And number two, statistically it competes with other top rifleman guns. It has easy recoil to control and it's just a great gun all around. And I do recommend you guys trying to get this gun. It, it took me a while to unlock, that's why I'm reviewing it so late. But it's worth it at the end and I hope you guys enjoyed this gun review. And let me know in the comments what gun you guys want me to review next. So yeah, peace.